Hello. Today we are uh, going to compare three photo books. Three photo books uh, mainly prepared by this one. I have taken two books. These are prepared by Zoomin. Um, one I have prepared this one. This is uh, prepared during um, October 2018. And um, after that they have changed their uh, software for uploading photos and their uh, layout page options. There, are, uh, there have been some limitations. Then I have prepared this thing and I have faced a uh, little bit difficulties during uh, preparing this photo book um, during 2019. Uh, so we will be discussing this about, uh, about uh, some other features. Now I am going to discuss this photo book. This is uh, prepared by Canvera. This is Canvera U-book and um, this is quite handy but this is for amateurs. For professionals we have to, one have to register as a professional photographer and uh, they must have a photographer's trade license. Then I am just uh, giving some short review about this photo book. This is prepared by Photozanic. This is their Photozanic Kodak collection and I am just going to discuss uh, in some of their points like say uh, binding, pages, uh, front cover, back cover, page quality, print quality and color saturation. So I will be um, uh, discussing in say uh, some features and will be scoring in some uh, remarks like uh, very bad, bad, good, very good and excellent in that way. So let us discuss about this uh, photo books. First of all I want to uh, make some highlights about this photo book, this is zoom in, this is zoom in. Now you can compare the size of these two photo books. Um, there is a palpable difference in the size of this photo book. They have, uh, they have uh, uh, made their photo book smaller and the price range is more or less same as per their previous photo book. But uh, what I uh, dislike about this uh, change of uh, Zoomin's photo book from their versions what I used, um, I'm using uh, since 2016, uh, is that uh, uh, there is limitation of uh, page layout and photo uploading and uh, designing options. Now regarding the front cover, I must say this is very good. Front cover print and front cover quality is very good. Then I must say about their binding, binding of the photo book is good. They say that this is their lay flat binding. Lay flat means this page goes continually. This is continuous uh, spread. So one can use uh, their image spreading the adjacent pages. Now in this previous option, I can customize my photos according to my wish in different borders and with different uh, background colors in the pages. Page quality is good, very good. These are their uh, photographic paper, their silver halide paper. They, they are claiming in their website that they are providing Fujifilm professional papers. Um, and the page quality, color saturation printing is, uh, I must say this is very good. But if I look into their recent option, I can say that there is a uh, well, it was uh, as it was, uh, I was a bit confused. So there, these borders are coming. This uh, front cover is, um, as the size it is reduced in their uh, dimension. So definitely it is smaller. Color saturation of front cover and pages are okay, good. I am not saying very good. Binding, pasting has been compromised. It is opening within a year and page layout they are providing a black border all around I cannot change the page layout option designing option so these photographs cannot be customizable and the photo editing part photo editing part of their photo uploading software by zoom in is um, uh, limited their options to reduce and resize the photos uh, in the photo book in the photo album. Now regarding the page, page is same, color saturation is more or less same, uh, I must say these are very good. Binding is lay flat, absolute lay flat they are saying, but I, as I said 
that they have made options options of these borders this is rigid and this rigid option is uh, i'm not liking this rigid option the, they should have a customizable option as they have beforehand and the font they are using this fonts uh, i don't like it this is really funny so previously there had been quite uh, good font options um, so regarding uh, the front cover it is good page good wide page very good i must say these are photographic paper silver halide paper binding is now it is good i must say um, finally uh, color saturation and page i must say these are very good and regarding value for money uh, i must say good for zoom in but i must uh, admit that their previous version was much better than the recent version okay so going to the next one this is the e book of canvera you can see in the last page their hologram is uh, pasted here and their barcode and this uh, unique pin number which can be shared and this pin number can be used to see uh, this album by other persons now from the very front page size is that 18 into 10 inch size front cover pasting is good it's not very good i must say it is good uh, font option is okay and uh, the page quality they are saying that it is their scuff free velvet paper it is a uh, good okay this is good i'm not saying that this is very good uh, the font options in the pages are smudgy these are these are i must say this is bad this is not uh, up to that up to canvera um, uh, expectation okay uh, color and print quality is good i'm not saying this is very good or excellent this is good okay and this is not a lay flat binding album this is uh, the page is folded as we can see the page is folded the binding is not absolute lay flat so one must have to consider that the margins uh, um, while aligning pages the margins should be uh, adjusted in that way that there will be a fold in the page succeeding page now one have to set up their page layout beforehand the u book of canvera they are not providing any uh, page layout option or editing option so front cover is good page quality is good binding is uh, good it's not lay flat binding but binding is good and um, finally you can uh, you can consider this as a good uh, option good economic option so value for money is good i can say very good for family uh, short trips family um, occasions uh, there is a photograph pasted in back cover and the size is quite convenient comfortable size 8 into 10 inch size uh, price range according to the price range and their the quality they are providing this is i can say this is good now finally i'm uh, going to discuss little bit about this uh, kodak collection uh, photo book of um, photo zanik the front cover is separate thing this is pasted over a hard cover the print and uh, the print quality material and color saturation is very good in this front cover uh, like zoom in this is uh, coming as a lay flat option they don't have they don't provide this photosonic don't provide uh, silver halide paper L uh, like zoom in they are providing silver halide paper u book of canvera is not providing silver halide paper the paper is different but the paper is good of uh, u book canvera u book this is um, some sort of matte finish is there gloss finish options are also there in u book uh, but this photosonic uh, photo book they are not providing uh, photographic paper but the paper is good they are uh, saying that this is premium art paper uh, page layout option is good it is customizable background peach color this is also good this is definitely customizable uh, i chose a, a glossy option glossy lamination this option is good the color saturation and pages are good uh, rather very good 
and this absolute uh, leaflet binding uh, providing you chances to spread one photograph to the succeeding page to another page color saturation is as expected as my photographs these are good and finally in the back they are providing another photograph in the back cover and there is a printed um, logo of this Kodak collection this is quite good so overall value for money for this for the price range they are providing this is 9 into 12 inch size so very good for uh, value for money so so this is the comparison